Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. Garlic has amazing healing medicinal properties for our body. It builds our immune system. It helps our cardiovascular system. It decreases inflammation, prevents clogging in those arteries to keep those arteries flowing smoothly. It lowers cholesterol, lowering the bad cholesterol and raising the good cholesterol. And what about sugar? It actually helps balance our glucose levels within our bloodstream. Cholesterol is vital to our body. It's the main component of our cell membranes. It produces your hormones throughout your body. Although stress and excessive sugars leads to too much inflammation, it's that inflammation in the arteries to where the damage occurs. And that's when the fatty deposits and excess of minerals start to become laid down, causing that placking. But when your arteries are open, it's so much easier for your heart to pump its blood through the bloodstream because there's no resistance. So as placking is removed from your arteries, your blood pressure is going to go down. There is nothing like fresh garlic, but there is one thing that we must do for our body to get those healing medicinal benefits. So those arteries can start to clear and that blood pressure can start to come down. And that is to chop your garlic first and wait five to 10 minutes before you do anything with it. So if you're consuming and cooking your garlic right away, your garlic won't live up to its full protection. And that is because when you chop and crush your garlic, the enzyme allianase converts allium into allicin. It's the allicin that's responsible for that aroma of fresh garlic. And when that allicin is generated, it's unstable. It quickly changes into a series of sulfur containing compounds such as diallyl disulfide. It is that allicin within the garlic that is the powerhouse. And that's what's going to give you the anti-inflammatory properties to heal your body. There's nothing like raw garlic. That's what's gonna give you the cardiovascular boost within your system. You'll notice that when you smell that bulb of garlic or even when you peel those cloves and put it to your nose, it doesn't smell. But once you start to grind or chop that garlic, that chemical reaction takes place giving you that sulfur strong smell. So you're probably thinking, what if I cook my garlic? Am I going to get that therapeutic value from my arteries? You will get some, but I prefer that if you're going to cook any garlic, make sure you leave it out for five to 10 minutes so that allicin has formed and then put it in the heat towards the end of your cooking. The less heat that your garlic has received, the less enzymes are going to be destroyed. So when you cook your garlic whole, it's still gonna give